Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my beauty must-haves in the summertime. Kind of like a summer essentials video, I guess. Just products I've really been loving this time of year. And I know we're like, um, we're like halfway through summer, are we? I don't know. But I have a few different, it's kind of a random video. These are random products. I have makeup, hair, nails, and stuff like that. I just thought it would be fun to share these things with you guys. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with body products, my favorite body products in the summer. And it's so funny, okay, because I have been loving the brand Sunbum for so long because if you don't know, Danny is in the military and they always have Sunbum at my local Nex, which is on base. And I had never seen Sunbum anywhere else. I thought it was like a military thing, like not a military thing, but a Nex thing. Recently, I found out that Ulta carries it, I think. And I have been seeing Sunbum everywhere. Like I think Katie has talked about it and Desi. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about Sunbum and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love Sunbum. And now people are starting to discover it, I feel. And I've loved them for so long. I have a few, quite a few Sunbum products and I purchased them all myself at my next. But anyway, so my favorite SPF for my body is my Sun Bum SPF 50. Water resistant for 80 minutes. It has vitamin E. I love this one specifically because it does not feel greasy on my skin. It's the only SPF that I've truly loved. I don't know how to explain it. It's very moisturizing, but it dries instantly. It's really nice on the skin and it smells really good. It smells like bananas, like pure bananas. It's delicious. It is so moisturizing, but not greasy. 100% not greasy. It's paraben free, oil free, hypoallergenic, won't clog pores, anti-aging, and all that good stuff. It's honestly my favorite. Some people say that you don't need anything more than 30 on your body, but I just get SPF 50 to be safe, I guess. So yes, I love this. And you should apply your SPF multiple times throughout the day. If you are going to the pool or if you're going to the beach and you put on SPF at nine in the morning and then you forget about it and don't put on SPF for the rest of the day and then go home around five in the afternoon, you basically did absolutely nothing because it does fade. I recommend putting it at least every two hours. So what I like to do, I get in the pool a lot because my mom does have a pool in her yard. So SPF is so important to me, but I also really love using this. This is the Sunbum SPF 30. This is a sunscreen spray. like. Oh, this one smells so good too. This one smells like bananas as well. I love this one because it does soak up instantly and I don't have to sit there and rub it and just, you know, take up time of me being in the pool. I love this. I do have to wait or I do dry myself off. Like I dry myself and then spray this everywhere. I saturate my body and it instantly absorbs into the skin. So I love putting this one on. Um, halfway through the day though, I will touch up with my 50, but then I constantly, like every time I get out of the pool, I constantly put this one on. Okay, so when it comes to SPF for my face, I 100% prefer a physical SPF. I've already talked about this like a million times in my videos and I feel like I literally have spoken about this product time and time again, but I will again. <laughs> this is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. Again, it still wigs me out that it's 47 and not 50 or 45, but whatever. This is my favorite face sunblock. I love it. If you don't know the difference between a physical and a chemical SPF, this is a chemical SPF. You know that a physical SPF has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and then chemical SPF has like a bunch of crap that I don't know. And they're both good, don't get me wrong. They are both good. I love chemical ones for my body. The difference is a chemical SPF will absorb the UV rays and then like throw them away. <laughs> a physical SPF will just completely block the UV rays. But the reason I like physical for my face is because it does not break me out. It doesn't clog my pores. It's, I need physical for my face. I have very sensitive skin and it's the only thing that won't really clog my pores. So I love this. I slather this all over my face and I reapply throughout the day. This is my favorite one because it's so hydrating. It honestly feels like I am wearing a crazy like hydrating face mask like it's so hydrating it sinks right into my skin it does stay a little bit like dewy on my face but it's okay i have dry skin i love this um but when i do want to wear something underneath my makeup sometimes i'll use this but i really really have been loving this one underneath makeup this is the for First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Pure Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. It has SPF 40, which is awesome. And it's also a physical SPF. So this one actually goes on more like a moisturizer 
This one is kind of like a serum -y moisturizer. I don't know, the consistency is different. So this one does feel more lightweight underneath makeup. So I really like that one. Okay, staying on with the body. This is a new product for me and I can thank my friend in Sephora. Everybody has their like perfect Sephora that they go to all the time. And I was really sad moving out of Mississippi because I had like everybody in the Sephora Mississippi knew me because I was there all the time. So I had like friends there, but I have discovered a new friend in the Sephora closest to me now. Her name is Carla and I love her. Like every time I walk into Sephora, if she's not there, I leave. I'm like, oh, Carla's not here. I'm just gonna leave. I met her because one day I was in Sephora and she came up to me like, hey, I, I watch your videos and then we just became really good friends. Carla, if you're watching, hi, I bought this because of you. So this is the Becca Luminous Body Perfecting Mousse. She like sold it to me. She's always like taking me around the store like, oh, we got this new, this is good, this is good. I totally trust her opinion and I went online and I bought it because she only gave me a sample to try it out and I loved it so I purchased it immediately. This is basically like foundation for your body. It's like a bronzing mousse. I don't know how to explain it, but I love this on my legs. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks like bird poop, right? Or like doggy duty. And then it just blends out and it gives you like a soft, you can't tell, you can't tell. I didn't put enough, but it gives you like a soft color to your skin and it absorbs immediately. It smells so good. It smells like a perfume, but like a really soft, it smells amazing and it's not 100% waterproof, but it is water resistant and it doesn't transfer on my clothes. I love it, especially like in the summertime, if you're wearing shorts and you're wearing a dress, a skirt, and you want to go out and you want your legs not to look like too pasty, then yes, purchase this because it's good. It just gives a soft, nice touch to your legs and just makes them look a little bit bronzy. I am going to talk about SPF for lips though really quick. So a lot of people don't realize that we need SPF on our lips more than anything. Our lips are actually one of the most sensitive parts like of our skin. So make sure when you're going out into the sun that you put on SPF on your lips. These are my favorite right here. I love the um, fresh sugar lip treatments. This is the original one which the writing came off. <laughs> this was expensive, okay? I don't, like, I don't appreciate the writing coming off. It's just a like clear lip treatment. This is really good. I don't know if it's worth the $22 to be completely honest with you. I mean, it's nice, but hmm. This one though, I do think it's worth it because it's like a lipstick and a lip treatment in one because it has a color. This one is in the shade Petal and it just gives you a really pretty mauvey pink color to your lips while adding SPF 15. They have a nude one too. So if you want a little bit of color, you can try those out. But just for straight up SPF, I love the Sunbum Chapstick. I know it's really basic and weird, but it has SPF 30, which is even more than the sugar one. I think SPF 30 is what you should be putting on your lips. And this one smells like banana. They have different scents, but banana is my favorite. And it's kind of slippy. It's like a chapstick. It's not super thick and hydrating like this is, but it gets the job done because it got SPF. So I really like this and it's like $2. <laughs> Okay, so since I've already kind of started, I'm just going to keep going with the makeup stuff. For my face, if I'm going out, honestly, I'm not going to lie, I don't put on foundation. If I'm going to like the beach, the pool, somewhere really hot, I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing makeup. I prefer tinted moisturizers, BB creams, CC creams, like those things, something in that category, and these are my favorite ones. I have uh, five to share with you. That's excessive. I know. I'm gonna start with my favorite drugstore BB cream. This is the Dream Pure BB cream by Maybelline. I don't like the original at all. The original was really greasy on my skin and I didn't like it. I like this one. I find that it's special because it has salicylic acid, which sits really well on my skin and it doesn't break me out. Salicylic, salicylic acid is good for my skin. I love it. The new one I've really been into is this one right here. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is SPF 20. I love this. This is just a sample that I got in a 500 point perk from Sephora and when I finish it I will probably buy the full size. I love it. I have my nude. It's very very lightweight. It doesn't give much coverage but it just evens out my skin tone and it doesn't feel tacky to, like to the touch. It just looks super fresh and beautiful. Not too dewy but not matte or anything. Another one that I've been crazy about. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is the one that I've been using the most out of all of them to be honest. This is SPF 30 so it's perfect to just use on its own if you don't want to put additional SPF underneath. I have mine in Buttercream 03. This one is so hydrating. It leaves like a dewy finish but it's it sits so comfortably on the skin. So moisturizing. I love this one. And then this is the one that I loved last summer and I want to start using again because I if you've been watching my channel forever like 
I used to love this. I used it all the time. This is the Bombs Balm Shelter. This is SPF 18. So I would put my SPF 40 underneath this. By the way, putting on SPF 40 and then putting on SPF 18 doesn't combine the SPF. Doesn't make it like SPF 58. It just stays like SPF 40. I love this one. It gives me like almost like a nice tan. Really weird. I have mine in light medium and I love the finish of this it this one is a lot more dewy and like hydrating this one is a little bit more natural but I just like it because it has pretty good coverage for a tinted moisturizer I love that and then if you want really amazing coverage with amazing SPF this is probably the best one out of all of them this is the it cosmetics CC cream it is a color correcting full coverage cream with anti-aging hydrating serum SPF 50 I love this this has full coverage, like coverage, like a full coverage con um, foundation, and it has the highest SPF out of all of them. So I love that it's SPF 50, and It Cosmetics has really good ingredients. There's a bunch of summer products that I love, like bronzers and highlights and stuff like that. But to me, these are like essential things in the summer. So my all-time favorite setting spray in the summertime is the Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And what I mean is sometimes, in the summertime, you're gonna go out to a party and it's outside and it's at nighttime and like the heat is so intense that your makeup just melts off your face. This is what I love specifically to keep my makeup in place in the summer. And it really prolongs the wear of my makeup, but it's the chill version. So like when I spray this on my face, it has like a cooling sensation. So I love it, I love it. It's my favorite one out of the Urban Decay setting sprays, the chill one. I like the all nighter too, but I like this one. Okay, but on days where I'm not really wearing makeup and uh, I just want a little moisture in my face, I really, really have been liking this. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is the coconut scent, which I like it for the summertime because it smells like coconuts. I swear it's like I'm spraying a pina colada on my face. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing. It's nice to just spray throughout the day, but I know that that's not very practical and actually I don't know if that's still in stock anymore. I have been loving this and I know it's super weird and super gimmicky and like a waste of money, but this is the Evian um, facial spray. This is water. It's water. Natural mineral water moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. No, it's just water. But I really like this. I actually went somewhere not too long ago where I was dying in the heat. I was outside, and this was in my purse because it's little and, and like travel friendly. And I sprayed my face like a million times that day. I wasn't wearing makeup, I was just wearing a little bit of mascara and lip gloss. And I was just like, Shh, every time I felt like I was gonna pass out. It's honestly just like a hydrating mist. If you're going on a hike, Take this. If you're going on a picnic, if you're going to be in the sun and like, I really love these little Evian sprays. I would just get water and like throw it on my face, but that would kind of ruin like makeup or something. So it's nice that this just comes in like a little spray. It's just like, you guys don't know how good this feels in the scorching sun when you just pull it out of your person. You're like, <gasps> you feel like a brand new person. I swear it. I love this little thing. I got mine at Sephora in the little checkout section. Okay, so I'm gonna go into hair products. I only have two hair products to talk about. This is the Sunbum Shine On. I love this because it has UV protecting ingredients in it, so your hair gets protected from the sun as well. The sun really dries out your hair and it's just, so get a product that has like UV protection in it. This one is um, a hair oil, of course. Coconut oil, argan oil, almond oil, sunflower seed oil, and banana leaf, which is awesome. Coconut oil, argan oil, that's all really, really good for your hair. I have this in the ends of my hair today just to give it a little bit more shine because I did apply something that kind of dries out my hair a little bit. I'll show you in a second. So yeah, I really like this one. It looks like I barely touched anything because I just started using it this summer and I only add a little bit to the ends of my hair. You could also use this when your hair is damp, like, you know, it's good. It's a really nice oil. It's very hydrating. And also, if you want that beachy, like, uh, yeah, waves, my favorite sea salt spray is the Beach Bum. I mean, the Sun Bum. To me, sea salts, all sea salt sprays dry out my hair because my hair is really, really dry. The only ones that I could deal with are the Sun Bum and the John Masters Organics one, which I have in my closet. I should have brought it out, but 
I purchased this one not too long ago because I wanted to try something different besides the John Masters one and this one is really really nice I think the John Masters one is more expensive so that's why I am talking about this one this one also has UV protecting ingredients it has Hawaiian black lava sea salt sea kelp and seaweed this I have it like at the very end of my hair to kind of make it a little bit more PC because my waves were just like sticking together so I just added a little bit of that this is awesome to put like in a braid or just like to throw all over your hair like in the beach it's awesome 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 I like to combine it with this though because my hair is so dry that I don't like using this on its own so I'll spray this on the ends of my hair and make it beachy like and then add the oil to make it a little bit more shiny because this kind of mattifies your hair so let's talk about fragrances really quick this is brand new I don't know if you can still get your hands on it I would try my best go to every Victoria's Secret pink that you know because it's amazing. This is from Pink, I just said that. This is the Beach Nights Hair and Body Mist. I love. <laughs> I love this for my hair. I like using products that are specifically for like hair and body or just hair on my hair because yeah, I don't know. This stuff smells so good. Like honestly, exactly what it says. Like you're on the beach at nighttime. I like this like bonfire party and you are the Best smelling girl there. I really love this scent. And my favorite perfume in the summertime is this one. I've mentioned it a million and one times. This is the Jennifer Lopez Miami Glow Perfume. I get mine at Perfumania. I just bought a new one, like a brand new one, and I just started recently using it because I only wear this in the summertime. Like, I do not wear this any other time, not even in the spring. Like, specifically, when summer starts and summer ends because it's just ridiculous to wear this like in the winter. That's how much of summer it smells like. Okay, so the top notes are passion fruit, pink grapefruit, and coconut milk. Middle notes are xylamin, xylamin, I can say that. Orange blossom and heliotrope, oh my god, I don't know. And then the base notes are amber, musk, and vanilla. So I definitely smell the fruity, coconutty, vanilla scent. It smells amazing, amazing, amazing. I highly recommend this for this time of year. Go into your local, like, Perfumania or whatever and smell it. It's good. And I love J.Lo. I don't like any of the other J.Lo perfumes, though. Just that one. Oh, and I do love Still. Still by J.Lo is good, too. Really quickly, I want to mention three perfumes. I love these kinds of colors in the summer. Just neon colors. Any neon color is an essential for me, but I want to mention these three because I've really been liking this. This is one of my favorite nail polishes of all time, and it was part of a collection, but I still see it at Ulta. This is Life Gave Me Lemons. It's a neon greeny yellow. It's amazing by OPI. This one is Beach Cruiser by Orly. I get tons of questions about it whenever I wear it in videos. I love it. I love it. And then I love these hot red oranges. It's my favorite color in the summer. And this one is by Revlon and it is called Provocative. It's a good one. So yeah, those were my summer beauty, hair, all that essentials for the summer. I just said that. I hope this video wasn't pointless or boring and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And maybe you got some good recommendations and might try any of these products out. What is your holy grail summer product that you need it? It's essential no matter what. Leave it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.